This final page of your interactive notebook has two more examples where we're gonna find the missing side length in the triangle. As usual, we wanna start by labeling the two marked sides. See the 47 degree angle? And notice how the 14 is the leg that's across from it. So your 14 is gonna be opposite, and then that X is across from the 90 degree angle, so that's your hypotenuse. Now, if we look at our ratios, so ka toa, the one that uses both O and H is so. So we're gonna use the sine ratio, and we can go ahead and write our equation. The sine of the angle, so sine of 47 degrees, is equal to, and then we need O, so 14, over hypotenuse, which is x. Now, the x is on the denominator this time, so to get rid of the x in the denominator, we have to take both sides and multiply them by x. Okay, so we would do this, and now on the next step, we're down to the equation x sine of 47 degrees is equal to 14. Now, to undo that x times the sine of 47, we have to get rid of that sine 47, and that means we need to divide. These are held together by multiplication. To undo multiplication, we divide. So sine 47 degrees, like that. And then you're ready to type that into your calculator. Again, make sure that your calculator is in degree mode. It should still be in degree mode unless you like closed your app and then reopened it again. All right, we have 14 divided by the sine of 47. So click the sine button right there. 47, close your parentheses, hit enter, and there is your answer. We'll round that to one decimal place, so your final answer would become 19.1. In this final triangle, let's again start by labeling our sides. In relationship to that 32 degree angle, you can see that the X is the leg that's next to it. So X is gonna be the adjacent side. And the 71 is the leg that's across from the 32 degree angle. So that's gonna be the opposite. Now, look at your phrase, so katoa, and figure out which one uses adjacent and hypotenuse. That's the toa in so katoa. That uses opposite and adjacent. So we're gonna use a tangent ratio, and the equation that we would write would be the tangent of 32 degrees, so type tangent there, 32 degrees, equals opposite, 71, over adjacent, which is x. Again, this one has the x in the denominator, so for our next step, we need to multiply each side by x, like that. And on your next line of your interactive notebook, you are gonna type in x tan 32 degrees equals 71. You don't have to show this stuff here, by the way. That's just me showing my work along the way. In your interactive notebook, you just have to type in like what I wrote in red, the tan, the 71, and the x. And then on this next line, the x, the tan, and the 71. All right, and now we are one step away from the answer. We have to get x by itself, so we need to divide by the tangent. Again, you don't have to write that part in the interactive notebook, just, you know, recognize what I'm doing here. And now you're ready to type that into your calculator. Seventy-one divided by tangent thirty-two, close the parentheses, hit enter, and there's our answer. We'll again round that to the nearest tenth, so one decimal position and that makes the final answer 113.6. This concludes the 7.3 day two portion of your interactive notebook. Make sure you have all the information filled in on this slide and then you're ready to go to Schoology and complete the 7.3 day two homework assignment. Thanks for watching, bye.